you ready to meet the cast of Teen Wolf? Don't always get the ladies. <laughs> Welcome to Exhale London. They're definitely here to see um, Damon. Oh, there's opening. We're at London, guys. Welcome to XL London. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh. Wow, look baby. It's so cute. You know what? This is the first time. Oh, let's go have a sneak peek on them. Oh my god, look who it is! Oh my god, look who it is! Oh my god, look who it is, Nick! We can't. Yeah, we just gave them a photo. They're in the line. Let me see the rest. Oh, there's a dad. Oh, there's actually green. There's a dad. There's a dad. Oh my god, there's a the guy from Twilight. Now I'm going right next to them. this one. Are you ready to meet the cast of Teen Wolf? We've done this so many times. 
say wrong son. <laughs> Hello? There we go. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was just saying, fuck, I'm kind of nervous. Oh, oh. There's so many people here, and uh, we're very excited to talk to you. Hi. Look at this turnout. Well, first of all, guys, thank you for joining us in the Capitol in London at For the Love of Fantasy. Hopefully, you've been enjoying London so far. How's Comic Con been treating you? I'll start with you, John. I've mostly been asleep. It's a 10 hour plane ride. I'm trying to catch up, so we'll get out after this, but the weather's fantastic. It's been extremely hot in the U.S., and I'm loving this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Yeah, let's give it up for John Posey. Thanks, John. Woo! Dr. Fenris from Team Wolf, the scary doctor. Uh, yeah, I mean, I love, I love coming here. I love London. Uh, I love seeing all of you. This is my favorite pastime, favorite activity ever. You're all so sweet. So we've had a really great con so far, but like you said, we're very tired. I love you too. Now shut up! <laughs> but yeah, we're having a great time. Okay. Christopher, other than jet lag, how have you been enjoying your college that experience? It's been really wonderful. I think you guys are the best fans and you're so loyal and it's <laughs> so many of you. It's really, really awesome to be here. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you could be here, yes. Don't they look fabulous, by the way? Jet lag looks great on you three, I must say. Thank you very much. Well, as we can see, you know, For the Love of Fantasy has specific genres, you know, we've got Twilight, we've got Teen Wolf, but in sort of a, a, a fandomonium, if you will, there's so many different genres. You've got Harry Potter, Star Trek, Star Wars. What are you three fans of? What's sort of your universe that you like, be it Marvel, Harry Potter? What are you a fan of? Ooh, I love Harry Potter. Yeah. I really, really love Harry Potter. And we have a, uh, right near my house is Universal Studios, and there's a whole Harry Potter world. You get your butter beer. Um, I, don't, I also love Dexter. Does, oh, forget, does anyone here like Dexter? I've always wanted to be killed by him. <laughs> Dexter, Dexter, Dexter's, Dexter's back again. Oh, Dexter's back too, yeah. yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, the new Dexter, I believe, am I mistaken, is an English actor? Did I, am I right about that? Do we know that? I think that's correct. I have no yeah. idea. What's She's shaking name? her head no. She has no, she has no idea. Yeah. It could be. I believe so, yeah. yeah. I love fantasy as well. I love Harry Potter. Um, I love Dune. I love Star Ooh. Wars. Woo! Uh, I love Alien. I love that. <laughs> Just I think I love, there's a crossover sci-fi and fantasy element for me that I love too. Well, I could sit up and fangirl here all day long, but you guys, this is our first panel that they've been lined up even before you started. So I think we need to take it to the fans. What do you say, London? Woo! Only one question, though, please, so everyone gets a turn. Thank you so much. Hi oh, there. Hi, uh, I'm Claudia, and I'm from the and I'm requesting to ask for you all. And uh, what do you value more from your Spirit Wolf? What do you value more from appearing on Team Wolf? Yeah. Oh man, you guys, honestly, like uh, the 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 biggest payoff I think from Team Wolf is just that we have this longevity in all of your lives. You know, shows come and go. Sometimes you fall in love with them, and sometimes you don't. And we've just been super fortunate that we can have a thousand people just staring at us right now, talking about our show. And, and it truly is uh, priceless and the best thing in the world, so. I feel the same way. I think what I value the most is hearing your stories and how our characters have changed your lives or had some meaning in your lives. I, I think. I don't know, because you know, we, we do the thing and then we go home and we live our lives, but it, the story lives on through, through you guys, so I really value that. And for me, uh, I've been an actor in Hollywood for 40 years, but it's not every day you get to do battle with your son. <laughs> and so when I got the opportunity to come here, Tyler and I have worked a little bit on stage, a little bit in film, a couple of different things together. But this was re really special, even though I think we only had maybe one scene together. I think out of all the Team Wolf history, you and I only had one yeah. interaction. Yeah, but it was really great being on the set, even though clearly I was by far the oldest guy on the set by about 40 years. But it was 
it was just fun watching all these guys do their thing from a distance and then being able a chance to interact with them. So it's a, it's really a joy to work with them. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite parts too. Is you know, this is this is all I ever wanted to do. I looked up to my dad, still do, when I was a kid, and I just wanted to work with him. And so the fact that we could and I can put him on my show was just the, the one of the coolest things. So I'm very grateful to the Teen Wolf gods, wherever you are. <laughs> Somewhere out there, howling at the moon. Okay, next question. <laughs> what do you want us to say? I know that it can't go forever, 
I kind of want it to. Uh, I like that it's open ended. Did you want it to end? No. You want Team Wolf to be done? No. No more Team Wolf ever. <laughs> Why? Uncertainty is part of life. Wait, does everyone want Team Wolf to end? No! I am. You get to decide. Whatever you think in your mind. I, I, uh, I want Scott. This, this is how I thought about it. This is how I want the show to wrap up. If it were to, I want Scott to find a cure. That's the one thing we've never really discussed before. No one's ever wanted to find a cure on this show, you know. So I think Scott wants to find a cure, and then he dies. Babe. There you go. Are you cheering? No. Babe. Oh. Like, yeah. <laughs> don't die. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I've always, I mean, Crystal's case is a great example. When a character dies that you don't want to, it's like so heart wrenching. But I think it's really good TV because it's real, you know. So I don't know. I think it'd be really cool to wrap it up where Scott becomes a human again and then he dies. <laughs> Don't Thank you. Just so you know, guys, we have time for two more questions as they've got to get back to the autograph area. Sorry about that. Hi there. Hi, Kaya. Favorite season to film? Mine was the first season. For sure. First? Yeah. So fun. Uh, dude, the first season was so fun. It felt like. Are you going to uni? Not yet. It felt like when you go to uni, college. And uh, I was just, I just turned 19, you know, so it was the first time I really lived alone. Um, 18 for the pilot, 19 for the first season. And, oh my god, it was just, it was so much fun. It felt like we were in our own little domain. And the content was great too. Like, it was just really fun as young actors for us to play what was going on in season one. So, I agree with Crystal. Season one was so cool. fantastic. Thank you. Last question. Better be good. No pressure. No pressure. I will kick your ass if it's not good. Crystal was alone. There was no other girl, you know. 
So I was like, oh cool, this girl has the role, you know? And so I really don't remember other than that. We had a great time. We had a great time. You know, we had a really fun time getting to know one another. We all got lunch, we, like walked yeah. around. Because the, the audition process is very drawn out. It was like six hours or so. We were there for, there for Well, I read for Crystal originally. <laughs> you went for Scott or Crystal? Tour? Crystal. Okay. Me too. Of course, they went with Crystal, obviously. I think I made a comment that we should both get the job because we had dimples. I think we did. Yeah, yeah and we, we did. We did. So. We both have dimples still. Woo! It was really fun. Yeah, I remember. Um, I was I was really nervous. I don't think I remember being the only. Was Holland there? Holland was not there. Oh, yeah. I liked you from the start. What? I liked you from the start. I did too. Yeah. I could, I could tell that we were going to get along and it was going to be a lot of fun. Um, That's great. We, you know what it was? We were all just so excited. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes when you're an actor and you're in LA, you can get a little jaded where you try to act really cool because you think that's what the producers or whatever want to see. I remember us three, and Heckman probably, were just happy to be there. You know what I mean? So it felt good to share that with, with somebody else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that, the first impressions were great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now I realize you have to get back to the celebrity area because you have so many adoring fans that want to meet you here in London. But final question for me, when you're done here with your signings and your photo ops, what are you looking forward to next after we're done here at Photo Up Things? Do you have any projects in the works or any time for yourselves when you get home? Um, I'm going to do a film in September-ish, I think, which I'm really looking forward to. And then I've been painting and writing and, um, yeah, just enjoying the art. It's been good. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got a couple of films coming up. Um, you know, staying busy, acting. <laughs> uh, writing a bunch. Married life, um, and I got a lot of stuff to look forward to. Yeah, uh, my toilet. It's a, it's a great toilet. It's got a squishy toilet seat. You never want to leave. Your legs fall asleep. It's wonderful. I've never got that answer before. Huh? I'm usually the one to give you those answers. So, what about you, Dad? I have a couple of projects I've written, one of which Tyler and I have together that we're putting, uh, we're getting farther along on the financing and hopefully we'll have that within the next several months. He's a great writer, fantastic writer, fantastic actor, producer, that's where I learned it all, I'm still learning. Yeah, yeah this will be a good film, starring this guy right here, because I don't have to talk to his agent. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. No, he doesn't. Jack of all trades. Well, you guys, thank you for sharing your memories you so with us here on stage. And, uh, and, and any final words for your fans here in London? You have the floor. Just thank you so much. You guys are really loyal and kind. And it means a lot to me to see your faces. Thank you for coming. Thank you. We love you very much. It's good to see familiar faces. It's good to see new faces. We love you guys. Can't wait to hang out with you all day, all weekend. So enjoy your time, get some good food, make sure you're well hydrated. <laughs> Love it.
entire cast, by the way, Twilight, they'll be on, on a panel tomorrow. They are so nice. They're such a friendly group. But now, as you look around, I mean, we have some amazing cosplay here in London. And at these conventions, you know, there are so many different fandoms, right? You have Twilight, you have fantasy, sci-fi. Uh, meet Charisma Carpenter and James Master, also known as Buffy and Cordelia. I mean, not Buffy, Spike and Cordelia. Oh, wow. She looks like actually green. There she goes. Do I get a little sneak video as well of her? I'm waiting for Ashley Green. And with the first one. Again, like we did with What the fuck? Waiting for Ashley Green to come. Where is she? Where is she? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. You don't have Buffy, do you? Sorry, Buffy. Buffy? No, no, sorry. Oh. No, oh, Martin. 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 Did you look at the photo? Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm haunted for life. Stop it. 